Go on. Go. China's road network. In 1988, China had no motorways at all. And now, 30 years later, it has 84,000 miles of them. That's more than any other country in the world. And they're only just getting into their stride. Since 2011, they've been building 6,000 miles of motorway every year. 6,000 miles a year! It beggars belief, and it's not like the terrain is easy. Here, though, there ain't no mountain high enough, and there ain't no valley low enough to stop them. Even I will admit the 2CV does have very clever suspension. In fact, it's claimed that you can drop one from under a helicopter at a height of 500 feet, and the springs will absorb the impact. Really? Well, let's find out. and let it go. There it is. What? Right, the high voltage system is active. So here it goes. To launch it, it's got to be in drive. Left foot on brake, right foot mash the throttle, right hand hold that back for one, two, three, four, five. Come off the brake. Ah! Sweet Mary, mother of Jesus! It's just insanity! They say it'll do 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Up to 125 in seven seconds. Seven seconds! Anyway, as you can see, the little car has been attached by rope to the enormous car transporter. The challenge I'd come up with was to see if the one ton C3 could pull the 13,000-ton ship a distance of 25 metres. Come on, boaty! Move, you vicious boat! Give it a bit of left and right. What a machine this is! <laughs> the power and strength of the Citroen! That... That is Boaty McBoatface admitting defeat. James, have you broken down? Yes. It's a very thoughtful place to break down this. Why is that? Well, because look, there's a little path that you, Hammond and I can go round. So off you go. That's Leave right. it. Don't touch it. Leave it. I'm to help. I Don't to try and help. Go away. <laughs> Everybody's getting a bit bad-tempered. Might be because it's so hot. Could be that. He's not very keen on us helping, is he? Oh, sorry. That's, I, I didn't see the bumper. Because I had my head right next to the thing. Go on. Go. We'll all be fine. If we spot a Jaguar, everything will be OK. Right. Go. Oh, 
now we're in trouble. Boots are off. Whoa! What? Is this all bathroom? Yes, obviously, with lavatory. What? Shower here, tiled, as you can see, tasteful. Sink unit, vanity mirror, restrained. And we'll just pop this open, like so. Wow! Lower the flap, which means that in the morning I can sit down. And I can, I can see the pub. As we know, luxury is defined by light and space. Mm -hmm. So this is a luxurious bomb. Correct. And also, look, this is not some camping lavatory where you defecate on a piece of plastic. Observe. It's oh, a proper thing. Ben, wh where, does, where does that go? Underneath the RV. What, to, like a tank or something? No, underneath the RV. Well, you're going to drive off in your bathroom, yes. leaving behind a mound of turds. Yes. Where are you going to sleep? Here. This is the exact same width as my forearm. Oh, yes. Well, that's more of a cupboard, really, isn't it? Cover us. Yeah, I'll cover you. As Jeremy laid down covering fire, May and I climbed out of the window. But then there was a problem. <sighs> I'm stuck. Well, push! Ooh. What? The terrorists are in the room. How'd you know? They're doing things to me. Ooh. Ooh. It's very uncomfortable. It's probably because you're so tense. Ooh. James! What? Kill me. Shoot me. Gladly. OK, here we go. Give me your best shot, Rich. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Representing the future. <laughs> the Rimac did it in one minute. 14.7. Yes! I am the winner. <laughs> oh, I'm victorious! Wait a minute. The past. And you, then... weren't, you weren't even driving the bloody car. Well, you were driving your car and you crashed it. Yes, but I crashed after the finishing line. Like a professional. <laughs> The fact is that in France, unlike almost anywhere else, the car is simply not seen as a status symbol. If you buy an expensive car, it's considered bourgeois. And if you look after it, that's disgusting. And the world of Premier League football backs this up, because what I have here is a photograph of William, who's Brazilian, driving his Bentley. And then there's Ibrahimovic, who's Swedish. He has uh, a Lamborghini. Erzil, who's German, has a Porsche. Marcus Rashford, who's British, has some kind of tricksied up Range Rover. And then I've got a photograph here of Kante, who's French, driving <laughs> his Mini. That he's crashed slightly, probably while parking. And you might be thinking at this point, yeah, but what about the president? No way is he going to drive around in a small hatchback. Wrong! Because what I've got here is a photograph of President Mitterrand in a Renault. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No, I don't have a chauffeur and I don't want a big car. It's bourgeois, it is uh, revolting, uh, how you say, uh, mm. the sick. I'm intrigued by this car because it represents a whole new way of thinking about what a car actually is. 
take this enormous command and control screen as an example. It does all the usual stuff, navigation, music, connectivity and so on, and so much more besides. For example, if I want, I can turn it into a sketch pad there and I can just, you know, draw pretty patterns and so on as I go along. Or, if I'm bored with being in, where am I here? There you are, Swindon, which I am. I can change it so that I become on Mars. Look at that, I'm actually on Mars. I mean, I'm not there, obviously, but it says I am and that's fun. There are, however, some drawbacks. But before talking about those, Mr. Wilman said I should fill the remaining six seats with a team of lawyers. First thing I want to talk about is range, because Tesla say this will do 351 miles between charges. But in my experience, electric cars never do the range that... How extensive is your experience, Jeremy? How many electric cars have you driven? Two. Ah. Oh. Both of them failed to do the range that the manufacturer said they would do. Because it depends on temperature, it depends on a million things. And anyway... As you've said, legally, we need to make very clear, it depends. It depends on the conditions. Most people are not driving like a maniac like no, you. I'm not. I'm doing 34 miles an hour. At the moment. <laughs> 